There once was a very wise man that said, Winter is coming. That man was Jon Snow. You may have heard of him. Some people say he knew nothing. However, there was snow, there was winter, and it was coming. So today, let's talk about maybe what you need for your vehicle in the winter. So here I have kind of just an array of stuff that I am putting in my truck for this winter. And you may say, holy shit, that's a lot of stuff. And I'm going to say, you're right. Why? Well, because as we have seen in this great state of Colorado, there is a lot of people that come here that have never seen snow before and therefore they do not know how to drive. And it's up to people like you and me to help those people out when they end up in a ditch or end up with all their tires spinning or end up in a house or something because uh yeah i've seen that so let's go over it what do we got let's do this in groups i'll kind of start with uh we'll start with the drawers we'll start with the drawers okay so um i have these bed slides in here this is the deck system um i haven't had it for that long um since April or May, something like that. Um, I used to have just kind of all my stuff in bags, like pushed up against the truck. I thought this would be a better way to organize stuff. So far, so it worked pretty good. Um, I just had to get a new topper put on because, uh, <laughs> well, let's just say one got wrecked. Um, so I'm still waiting for my cross member bars up top, so I can put my rack system on there. So a lot of this stuff would go up top in the rack system for a lot more easy access. But until Lear sends me those, um, we're to do make do and put it in the back. All right. So what do we got? Okay. First in here we have, I always carry, um, two, I have two hoodies. I have this lighter one and I have a brown one in here. Um, this one here, which is a lot heavier, carry those, um, for myself. Um, and for somebody else, you're going to see a lot of duplicates in here because if you do, um, happen to be driving and somebody's in the ditch and you stop and try to help them you don't know how long they've been there and if their car's dead or their battery's dead or they ran out of gas or whatever i mean they could have been there for a long time and they might be freezing their asses off so with that being said i have two hoodies um one heavyweight one lightweight um either use it for myself or like i said give it to them um, they can put it on and be warm i have two whoopies or poncho liners for you non-military folks again if they need them you know um, I have a wool blanket. The great thing about wool, if you don't know, is it keeps its warmth even when it's wet. So that's really good. I have um, just kind of a lightweight sleeping bag um, because you don't know how many people are in the car. They might have kids. I mean, we, we don't know really what's going on. So I want to have a little bit of everything just in case. Um, this is a heated blanket, so you can plug it into a cigarette lighter. Um, if, like I said, if your car is dead, battery's dead, whatever, you can use it as a regular blanket. Um, so that's kind of in the back because that's not like a emergency stuff per se. Um, regular stuff, you know, sockets, whatever, uh, tire kit. Um, right here at the end, I can open it up and get it real quick. I have a rain jacket, which I can put on the outside of one of my hoodies if need be, if it's really shitty outside. I have a beanie. Inside the beanie, I have an extra pair of heavyweight socks, gloves, and a flashlight. In here, in this little bag, I have uh, a pair of gaiters. Um, and I also have a pair of like spiky yak tracks. Um, I have another pair of yak tracks right here. Um, these are obviously fitted for my foot, so it may not fit you. However, um, sometimes if it's really icy and you're going down a hill, you can just throw those yak tracks on and it just help you get traction so you're not falling on your ass. <laughs> Obviously, um, you know, I have extra wool socks in here in case my feet get wet or my feet get cold. Um, I also carry a pair of these boots. These are um, bogs, waterproof, breathable, insulated. I know that because it says it right there. Um, these are really good to keep in here, especially in the wintertime. Um, I used to wear these going elk hunting all the time. They're pretty awesome. They're really comfortable. Um, I can walk really far in them. 
and I don't get any problems with my feet. So I just throw them back there again. If you, let's say you have a suit on or something like that and you have nice shoes on and you don't want to get them all jacked up, you can take your shoes off, take your socks off, throw these on, throw the boots on, and these, the yak checks fit right on there and no problem. I also have a pair of snowshoes. Okay, why? Because if you end up having to drive pretty far, or I mean walk pretty far, let's say, um, if you are stranded and you have to self-rescue, you should always be ready and prepared to self-rescue. And I have those just in case. If I'm out being stupid in the middle of nowhere and I get myself stuck and the only way out is for me to walk out, that's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for me to walk on the snow than just my regular boots, all right? Um, they're super lightweight. They don't take, I mean, they take up a little bit of room, but they don't weigh anything. They're just, you know, aluminum ones. I got them off Amazon, the cheaper ones, but I guess make sure that you're, they're good for your body weight. Um, so that's it for this one. Oh, I have like things like a, other accessible things in the back under here. I have um, a couple tarps. They're really good for laying on the ground if you have to, you know, dig a car out if you need to get underneath there to hook up or anything. I have um, a big Stanley Fat Max, like a big kind of piece of piece of metal. Um, this is more if somebody had a wreck and they're trapped in their car and you have to open a door. Um, I have that. I also have a high lift. Um, and that's like I said, just emergency stuff, right? Um, I also always have a couple extra pairs of gloves, fire extinguishers, general stuff, okay? So let's close this bad boy down and we'll go to the other one. Let's go to this one. This one is more um, stuff that you need, not right away, but you're gonna need it, right? So we got a, an e-tool or a shovel. This bag is shoved all the way in the back because I'm not gonna, don't think I'm gonna need to bug out or e and &E. Um, an extra strap. Um, so another thing you want to do before you get your car ready for winter is your PCCs and PCIs, right? Your pre-combat checks, your pre-combat inspections, right? You want to make sure all your batteries are good. You want to make sure, you know, everything's up to date. You want to check all your straps, make sure they're not frayed or torn because the last thing you want to do is try to pull somebody out and your strap or strap breaks. Um, so check all, check them all, you know, preload them up where they're nice and easy to get to. Um, and that way you have everything out. Everything is there when you need it. Oh, so here, like I said, I have extra straps. Um, stuff that I put in the back, I have like these wedges. You know, I'm probably not gonna need a tree wedge if I'm trying to get somebody out of a snowbank, but you know, they're there if I need them, right? Um, I have a bunch of extra shackles because you never know what kind of vehicle you're gonna encounter. And it's just, I would rather be over-prepared than under-prepared. Um, tree saver, you know, um, Am I gonna need to wedge myself out? Eh, maybe. Or this is also good for if you need something else, you know, an extra strap to wrap around something. Um, I have one singular piece of old school chain. I don't know why, um, but the old school Brandon made to, to get it. I, don't know. I have a whole spool of extra synthetic rope for the wench. Um, make it extra long if you need be. And I have a couple of extra, um, just a, uh, points in there to put on the end of the winch to hook up um a magnetic light in case it's in case it's dark out um i have this tire inflator that goes with this tank right co2 tank um because if if you did wreck and you did you know kind of run some stuff over your tire can get flat or whatever so if it needs to be fixed it needs to be fixed um always carry extra stuff for your windshield Funny story, we had a lieutenant come in one day. He was a little late. We were all kind of giving him shit because he was a lieutenant and he was late. And we, you know, like, what, what's going on? He said that he ran out of, of juice for his windshield wipers and it was really bad that day, sleeting and stuff. And he had to take his drink, which was a Coca-Cola, a 20 ounce bottle, and dump it on his windshield to get enough stuff to clean his windshield off. So um, if need be, you can always dump Coke on your windshield. <laughs> Um, let's see what else we got in here. Toilet paper, yeah, you know, might need that. An extra, um, a rain jacket, like a poncho. Um, if you have a partner, um, if somebody's trying to help you out. Or, what I like to really do, if, I, if I'm digging you out, your ass is gonna help me too. We had a dude that came in front of our house one time. Um, and we had a really bad snow and he was in a, God, it was like a brand new Audi or something. And he was, he was in a suit and he rolled down his window and asked for help. I, I was scooping my driveway and I was like, okay. So I went out there and I started digging him out and then I paused and I said, hey dude, are you gonna help me? And he's like, well, I'm in a suit. And I'm like, 
well, I'm digging you out. You're not digging me out. I don't need the help. So if, if I'm digging you out, your ass is going to help too. Unless it's like an old person or a lady with kids or something like that, obviously. But if you're a grown ass man, then you're going to fucking help. End of story, right? Okay, so that's basically it for this one. Always have an extra one of these in the back because um, they break. Let's see, I got a couple shovels, a couple small shovels, an actual snow shovel, right? Um, a couple axes. I don't know why, just in case you need to fucking pack something. Um, I have a lot of straps because you always can use straps. Um, I have a base for the high lift. Obviously, I have the high lift in here. I have these rubber things and these these uh, two by sixes that people always ask what they're for. These are not, okay, they are traction mats, but I don't use them for traction mats. What I use it for is to lay on the ground um, and either this on the bottom or this on the bottom, if you can see these these traction mats on the bottom or these two by um, sixes on the bottom either way depending on the ground right because this can kind of go over a bump or whatever put that on there and then you have a, a place for your high lift jacket to sit on it's a huge wide base whether you're in sand or mud or rock or something like that it's just a, a better place for it plus if you're using your bottle jack and like my truck has a lift kit on it and you need to get higher this builds it up another two to four inches that way you can put your bottle jack on here and lift it up it's just a, an old school trick that somebody taught me god i don't even know when and uh i've been carrying them around and i've used them a few times and it's worked out pretty good all right so from there let's go down here uh, we have a kinetic rope okay if you don't know what these are I've never used this, as you can tell. This is a giant rubber band, essentially. And um, this is the bigger one, it's like 30,000 pounds or something like that. Uh, breaking strength is 60,000, so that's cool. The reason why I got a bigger one is because um, you can pull everything out with a big one. You can only pull some things out with a little one. That sounded really bad, didn't it? Yeah, whatever. Got the big one, and it's also black. I got the big black rope thing. So, um, I've seen these used, I've never used them, but everybody says that they are amazing. Um, so for, I think it was like $100, it was, it's the Smitty Bill, it's the biggest one they make. And I got, oh, let's see what we got, we got. We got these, the old standby, the old jumper cables, right? Um, quick tidbit of information for jumper cables. Do not, do not, do not. Do not, little moss, do not buy the cheap shit, okay? I have seen the cheap shit break. I have seen it fucking melt. I've seen it ruin batteries. I've seen it not being able to jump stuff. So just don't fucking buy the cheap shit. Buy once, cry once, get a good set, um, and they're gonna last you literally forever, okay? Mm. Um, honorable mention got gas um kind of go back and forth on carrying gas because if you're around the city um you probably don't need to get away with like a little two gallon thing or something but if you're if i ever go on a long trip i always carry one of these with me you never know you never know when you can help somebody out um being a good samaritan and a good citizen is always top priority right no matter who you are no matter where you're at don't be a fucking asshole, right? So if you can help somebody out, they're on the side of the road and you got five gallons of gas to give them, you know, granted gas is like $5 a gallon right now, but um, go ahead and hook that people up, hook them people up, right? Um, because, you know, karma's a motherfucker and if you do good, and, you know, good shit will come back upon you. So they say. Um, let's see. Over here. All right, we have knockoff and or cheap Max Tracks, right? These are obviously not Max Tracks. The cool thing about Max Tracks is when you stack them, they're like that big. Um, these are obviously a little bit thicker and they don't stack as well. However, I have used these and they work. Um, I always, if I'm gonna make like a bridge out of them, I always double or triple them up. But as you can tell, I have six of these and I, I can buy six of these for the price of like two max tracks. They work for everything I've needed them to work for. They work great in the snow. They work great in the um, ice. 
and I haven't had one single issue. Um, like I painted these ones orange that way in the mud. If they get stuck in the mud, you can see them a little bit easier. And a lot of times I'll have a strap um, that you can loop through. That way if you do get in the mud, you put the strap on there, that way you can kind of pull it out. Or else sometimes they're just lost forever. Um, you can get them in different colors, but like these are brand new. Uh, these are Speedmaster. Um, these are brand new ones, I have not ever used these. They're still black and everything. Um, but like, you can throw two of these in your kid's car, save yourself a whole bunch of time, time and money, and you know, it's gonna take up just a, a little bit of room in the trunk or in the back of the truck or you know, wherever. If they have a roof rack on the roof rack, you know, um, they're not super expensive, but my very first day that I got my driver's license in Iowa, I was driving a 72 Nova with rear wheel drive and i was driving on the road and this was march so there was still a bunch of snow and stuff and we had a city truck coming my way and the city truck did not get out of the way and i had two options i could either hit this big giant city truck or i could go in the ditch and i chose the ditch with a bunch of snow and uh yeah <laughs> that dude um you know helped me out he apologized he pulled me out but you know nowadays you have something like this we didn't have these back then and you know these will help you out you can again self-rescue which is a, a huge thing for me um you're not always gonna be able to rely on somebody else um we'll see a couple more little things i have these jobbers right here right they're just little bitty walkie talkies these are the um i don't know these are the cobras they're what 40 bucks i don't know something like that what these are great for especially in these situations if i'm pulling you or i'm trying to wench out or something like that i can give you this i can take this and we can talk to each other without screaming okay um here in colorado we get like crazy blizzards and you'll have a, a 70 car pile up right so if i'm trying to get multiple people out or trying to help or do anything i can i can hand this to one dude pull him out while I'm taking it off, get the radio back, hand to another person, hook up, pull them out. And I can just talk to them individually without having to scream, um, anything like that, because obviously it's already a chaotic situation and the better you can communicate and the more calm that you stay, the better the situation will be. Right. Um, in here in this deck system, we have little pockets. You can keep nice stuff just pops right off so in here I have all my soft shackles I also have um, you guys this is the factor 55 I don't know why I went on like a factor 55 kick one time and bought like a whole bunch of their shit they make really good stuff um, it's slightly expensive but from what everybody tells me it's actually so I, again in here I just have a whole bunch of soft shackles and I have a bunch of like chem lines right um, I have a couple pins like these um, just stuff to help people out. If it's a blizzard and you can't see, and I give a dude a, a radio or a chem light to where I can communicate a lot easier than trying to scream and not being able to see anything, it just makes life a lot better, okay? Um, anything I can do to, to help out the situation, I'm gonna do. Oh, let's see. And this one, on this side, on this side I have road flares, right? Um, again, maybe you're like around a bend or something like that and you want to let people know that, hey, uh, something's going on up ahead without crashing into me because that would really suck. Then you got your road flares. I also have these gun flares. Um, this is more for a, I'm in the mountains and I need rescued and maybe I hear or see something, but they didn't see me. Um, air horn, same, same. Um, and that's it for that one. So just straight up emergency flares in there, basically. So last but not least, and certainly the heaviest thing, is this. This is a land anchor, okay? This is for any place, let's just say this, any place that you can, that you're stuck, that you don't have a, a, an attachment to winch to, that you can put your winch on, um, and the ground is able to dig in, okay? So like if you were in pure rock, this would not work because it has to be able to dig in the ground. It's basically a big V-shape and you shove it in the ground at a little angle and it's got an arm that comes out, you attach your winch to it and you can 
pull yourself and the more you pull the more this digs into the ground and it'll get you out of being stuck right um they're controversial only in the way that some people don't like them and some people do like them um i like i said before i'd rather be over prepared than under prepared and i have seen people go to try and help other people out and be good samaritans only to themselves get stuck and then have to self-rescue them or call their buddy to get them out and then they both have to get the other person out so i would rather be prepared myself and throw this in the back than have to rely on somebody else but that's just me all right so again you know just to recap everything um winter's coming and people can't drive and sometimes you get stuck on the side of the road you know whether um, a pass is shut down or they shut down the interstate or whatever it may be the more stuff that you have and the more prepared you are the better off you're going to be and don't forget if you got one of these make sure you got some stuff for them too right because they're not going to like it if you're stuck either so before winter gets here ask yourself are you an asset or a liability